Okay, I'm going to show you today how you can make a cycloidal or hypocycloidal or sometimes called a wobble drive. It's in the relative family of your harmonic drives and your strain wave geared drives and those sorts of things. The principle anyway. But it's uh, very simple. It's very small. In this case, the idea of this one is a 12 to 1 gear reduction. And I'm going to be driving it with a standard TT type motor. This one happens to be black. Normally they're yellow. <clears throat> but this gray thing right here is it. I'm going to take it apart here in a second and show you how to put it together. But first I figured let's start with it together so you can see what's going on. And I've got three volts that I'm running into this motor. So you can see the center shaft. That's the actual speed of your normal TT gear motor. And then this outer one, see this dot moving around here it comes. That's the one that's moving 12 times slower or geared down. And this is uh, handy if you're doing toys where you want to control a function in a sequence or something like that. So there's only a couple of parts you need to print. And I'm going to show a practical application for this in a later video. This one's just showing how to make this uh, cycloidal drive. This was just an end cap that's going would get glued normally onto this shaft, or you could put whatever you want onto that shaft. But that's what I do for this demonstration. Then this is the actual output disc. This prints as one piece, no uh, supports or anything required. It prints flat. And this would be where you would attach whatever you wanted to control slower, like a cam on here that would hit a follower or a post to move some linkage, whatever it is, or a wheel, <clears throat> whatever you wanted running slower than the motor did. Then inside the motor, you've got, I don't really want to call it a gear, I don't really want to call it a cam, but you got this disc inside. And this disc inside will have one fewer lobe than this main part here has. This has got 12 lobes. This has 11. And that's where you get your gear ratio. See how that sits in there? Well, let's get up something here. If you move this in a, with an offset, offset drive, see how it goes around? Well, that's how the uh, reduction occurs. Pen's not the right thing to do it. On this gear motor, there's a small cam. Let's see if we can get this closer to the camera. Right here. So this outer sleeve is larger because that's going to butt up against the back of this. That prevents this from falling off the motor. This inner sleeve fits as the bearing surface inside here. Then the offset cam is what drives this guy. And in fact, we can run this like this. Maybe you can see better what I'm talking about. There, see? Then to capture this, this energy from this uh, wobble drive, as some people like to call it, that's what the point of uh, this whole thing is. It rides on that center axle, locks into those holes. And you get a very compact, small, efficient, and quiet, a lot quieter than gears, unit. To uh, assemble it, you also print this gray frame. This prints flat, no supports. And you can hold your motor into it with a screw. I made the frame symmetrical so you could put a drive like this on either side. This just presses on. Uh, I had a screwdriver here a moment ago, but anyway, you know, there's a flat shaft and it's just pressed onto the f flat shaft and that particular part, this axle with the cams on it, prints flat. Again, no supports. When you go to assemble this thing, you need to uh, glue, put some glue here and here so that this piece won't turn. You want that locked to the frame. So it stays stationary. And now would be a good time to um, grease it or lube it. I've just got some white lithium grease sitting here. So I think where we know this is going to rub, 
let's just put some on here like so and if my glue isn't all dried up we'll put some glue on here just on these two uh, two points I was talking about and take your part and just put it on there like so you want to make sure that you don't have it binding or anything and everything can turn freely at this point which it does then since this whole inner part I'm going to put some uh, grease on that cam and some on these lobes it'll get itself worked around wherever it needs to be hopefully so then you would take this part which prints flat again drop it in on its cam there it is and power it up again so you can see how that would work in I'm going to set this down here and uh, I'm going to put a little bit of grease on the, this output disc thing where these buttons have to ride around. Like so. Like that. So now to hold everything together, you mean you could put a wheel on this shaft if you're making a cart that was driven. But you need something to hold it together so there's this little uh, end cap piece which I would typically put a little bit of glue inside the cap and then shove the, the cap on then it can't come apart and so there you have it your cycloidal drive and this particular one's a 12 to 1 gear reduction sometimes it's also called a, a hypocycloid and some people call it a wobble drive but uh, whatever you want to call it, it's uh, very easy to print, much easier to align up than a bunch of gears and axles and shafts. And the teeth are so much rounder and larger than uh, trying to print gears to get a 12 to 1 ratio. It's just for 3D printers and for size, I think it's really the only way to go.